All right, <clears throat> looks like we're finally getting underway here. Shout out to all six of you who have joined me for this epic journey. At least I hope it is an epic journey. Two of the top four teams in NLTP at the moment. Throwing it down in three, three seconds. Two, one, one. And we're off on arguably the most exciting map in competitive. What more could you ask for? An early flaccid from Scrub J. He's going to try to boost in from the top. Llama try and play a little grab D, and he'll get a couple quick returns. Scrub J is going to be out here, but the OD is there. Joe's going to try for the team boost snipe, but 2P. Nice and patient. Scrub J should have time to get to re. We are going to refresh very soon for game sounds as Scrub J brings in the cap. She walks right past the OD. Quick refresh. DSB already out again, past a couple. Two nuts this time with the return. 2P pushing it pretty hard, and they actually might get the return in time. They almost do. But now Graham has passed a couple. First round of pups, one on one for each pup. Prism's going to get a tag pro left. Crossover with the Juke Juice. And Prism will try to lead Scrub J2, the promised land. But they're going to have that Juke Juice to contend with. They might just back into the corner here, but oh, a little miscommunication. <clears throat> and now Graham has passed three, but he takes kind of a weird boost. Maybe could have gone off that, that top corner there. And the OD has time to catch up. 2P in hot pursuit. Llama with the anti. 2P to stand in front, and he gets the solo. And the reset to boot. Scrub J, a nice little bump grab, and a quick flaccid from the ball guys. I think that was Graham, maybe, or it was crossover. I'm not sure which one. And DSP nearly capped another untimely flaccid. Scrub J with a pretty good block on two nuts. I thought Prism was going to go around the left side. I think he had it, but he is going to pick up a rolling bomb. And two people have a rolling on Reed. So not looking great for ball guys. And it'll be a cap. Excellent blocks from Lamatron and Scrub J. And it's a 2 0 lead for Darkseid. And they're threatening to make it 3 0. And they do, as 2P somehow keeps the rolling bomb intact for long enough. And this is what you want to see if you are a Darkseid fan. 2P going for the ambitious split. But Ball Guys finally have the reset. Little solo grab from Scrub J not going anywhere. Ball guys thought they were gonna have to play without their star defender two nuts in this game, but he showed up just in time. Thus the uh, the delay. Good OD positioning by the aptly named OD God. And now he's gonna grab to get out. Dangerous situation, but Joe comes through. Tag pro for each team. Big chances. 2P looks like he's going to try to go for the return, actually. Looks like both flag carriers are going to die. Let's see if Prism can get back for the re in time. Not quite. But they have the reset on the other end. Prism using the bomb to get out. And now it's dangerous because that tag pro is running out, and it does. But crossover with the solo using that choke point to his advantage. Graham almost has the return on 2P. But 2P with the angle. He opts for the team tiles and is able to survive. But he diffuses the team boost. So now he is without weapons to work with and gets quickly returned. Next round of power up spawning very soon. Darkseid had a 2v1 in the ball guy's base, but we're unable to get out and crossover should be past four here. Is 2p there in time? He is and he gets the return and the flag and this could be a counter cap actually. Can two nuts get there in time? Not quite. I mean yes actually he can. For some reason I thought it was a cap. But he had the juke juice, and he's going to counter counter cap it, I guess. Cutting the lead to two. Two P. Ooh, a very nice snipe. The bot. Joe tried to hide in the corner, but it wasn't enough. 
Lamatron, nice rub grab on Graham. And here comes the 2v2 in base. Good positioning by Crossover and Joe to get the return. And now it's 10 seconds until the next round of pups. Let's see if the teams will try to grab here real quick. You know Scrub Jay's grabbing here. And he almost was out. 2P is going to opt for the pup, although the bomb spawns at sort of an inopportune moment. Darkseid should get the right pup, though. They get a juke, and they will get the left tag pro as well. So Crossover needs to either back off or push it here before the tag pro catches up. Instead, he gets soloed by the juke juice, courtesy of Lamatron. Prism goes for the, the quick grab to try to clear out the base. Now he's passed maybe one. Kind of a wasted opportunity there for uh, Dark Side. Not a like completely terrible grab from Prism, but I think he needed uh, to die sooner. Just clear out some of the defenders and spawn in base. Good boost down from the top by 2P, and he'll be out. Ball guy's defense really struggling to keep Scrub J and 2P in base so far. Seems like they're getting out at will, and there's Scrub J getting out 1v2. And great blocks! Oh, I, uh, man, it was really close. I don't know if he had it. Prism made a, a really good play to come off the first guy, and then somehow he gets the pup um, to come off the first guy to block a different guy. I don't think Scrub J anticipated that. Hard to say whether he had the angle. Lamatron trying for the return. He's at least able to cut off the team boost. Scrub J using that tag pro to get 2P out. But Joe Hobo out as well. Now he's dead. The tag pro's out though. He did his job. Lived for long enough. And 2P gets bombed back. And ooh, almost sniped by Joe. But he misses the, the boost. And oh. Missed opportunity there for dark side as 2P slightly misread the OD and tried to boost top. Oh, a bad flaccid from Scrub J, and that's going to directly result in a cap for ball guys. And it's a one cap game. After that super fast start from dark side, they jumped out to a 3 0 lead in less than three minutes, I think. Omatron should be out here. Crossover's going to have a rolling re. Prism goes for the left pup and gets it. So he has a rolling re, and that's a good kiss from Lamatron because Prism should be out here, courtesy of the rolling bomb. Prism briefly in a return for cap situation, but Lama didn't quite have the angle on crossover. Joe the solo on Prism, and we have ourselves a rare double reset. Crossover sneaks past Lamatron and he'll be out. Unfortunately, the team boost's not up, so he's going to take a lap and wait for pups. That left pup is pretty late at this point, so we'll see people fighting for right pretty soon. Lamatron able to track down Crossover and he should. Uh, script should have just trusted the block. Lamatron is going to get doubled for that pup. Fortunately for Darkseid, just a rolling bomb. Prism once again looks like he's going to get the left pup and he picks up a juice. Darkseid should be a reset, but oh, Scrub J just whiffs on, uh, on the prevent there. Prism trying to track down Joe, and he just gets him before he gets to the boost, but a regrettable spike. But they have three on OD, so they should be okay. Crossover's going to back up for that team boost. And off the top wall, excellent route from Crossover, and he caps it. Very nice play. Optimal route. That's a miner's play right there, if I've ever seen one. And after all that, it's a tie game. Last round of pup spawning very soon. 2P should be dead here, but Graham opting to just kind of chill out and stay ahead instead of going for the return. Lamatron, oh, I thought he had that pup, but he hesitated, I think. Prism, not able to get the left pup this time, but just a rolling bomb. Unfortunate for ball guys. Crossover tracks down 2P. Prism with return, but 2 Nuts is out off the handoff. But can't.
can't bring it in as the OD was there. Two rapid flaccids. And Darkseid is given Ball Guys a capping opportunity, but Scrub J is defending that back wall boost. Prism with the anti. And that should do it for this half unless Darkseid is able to get out off the bomb there. But no can do. Three, two. And after game one, half one. The score is knotted at three caps apiece. Prism pretty clearly leading the way, leading the game in prevent and returns and pups with a cap to boot. And a brief intermission as I eat my Buffalo Wild Wings. No, oh, just kidding. No food for me. The streamer life is undoubtedly, unquestionably, a difficult one. The wings will have to wait. The sacrifices I make for my seven viewers. Three, two... One. Game one, half two. Score not at a three caps apiece. Two of the top four teams in NLTP, including the defending champion, Dark Side of the Ball. Both teams at full strength here tonight. And we are without game sounds once again, so refreshing. All right. Here we go. Crossover, a little bump grab off Llama. Tupi also almost out, but didn't have the angle. And now Llama alone on OD. He swipes and misses. Prism almost was at the bomb in time, but now Ball Guys have returned from a three cap early deficit to take a one cap lead after a 4 0 run. Prism trying to maneuver, no anti, so Lama is just going to get the grab off, but it just runs straight into Crossover, who is smartly going to the team boost. Pup sweep for Ball Guys. They pick up a Rolling Bomb and a Juke Juice. I haven't looked at the numbers, but I think the pup luck has been a little bit grim for Ball Guys so far. Then again, there haven't really been that many tech pros in general, but it seems like when they have come up, they've gone to Dark Side. Ooh, that was that was dangerously close to being a cap. And now crossover is actually out past a couple, and, and he almost has the angle, but Prism is just there in time. The blocks were pretty good, but Prism was too hot on his tail. Nice vertical snipe by Graham. Scrub J pushing it pretty hard, and uh, okay, a pretty good block by Tupi, but unfortunately winds up hitting his own flag carrier. Both sides reset. Grim spike. Oh, and now Joe is out past three. Little bump grab, and he's at the team boost, and he oh he waits for a while and then decides to go for it anyway. Just runs straight into a wall of four ODers. Prism forcing crossover off the boost and then going for the pup, which he gets. And now a tag pro for Ball Guys. Good move by 2P to get out, probably saving a cap, but he gets murdered in cold blood by Prism and a cap off of it. Unfortunate. Or very fortunate if you're a Ball Guys fan. Amazing bomb snipe, killing two by two nuts. And can they track down Lamatron in time? Not quite. Excellent job by Lamatron to stay alive just long enough. But the deficit is still two for Dark Side. Good anti from crossover. Well timed by Scrub J to prevent the cap there. That is not an easy play. Crossover those past two. Dark side not keeping the flag in base so much this half. It seemed like they had control for much of the last game. Prism now out past three. Can Lamatron get the block? Odie God boosting from top and Prism is almost there in time, but Odie God bumps into crossover who gets to the flag tile with a fraction of a second to spare. And now another tag pro for ball guys. Just a juke juice for DSB. And a bit of danger for Lamatron and company. Two nuts, two kills. Tupi's got to live forever. Oh, they keep dying. 
A little too aggressive going after the flag carrier for dark side. Led to a bunch of deaths, and that's going to be a cap. Tupid really did pretty well to live for as long as he did, but the OD was not there when the Tag Pro expired, and DSB paid the price. It's a 6 0 run for ball guys after a slow start. Good snipe by 2P, and they might be a reset, but they have to be careful not to push too far back on OD, and they do. Now Graham is past three. Are they going to block Scrub Jay? They are, and it's 4 0 this half. A 7 0 run for ball guys. Dark side just getting outplayed right now. And this could be a cap, and it is. OD God got caught trying to block for his flag carrier, and DSB got the return anyway. And they have stopped the bleeding, at least for now. DSB also with a tag pro this round. Crossover. Is able to get out at least with that rolling bomb, even though he's defused. And unfortunately, Darkseid not able to get out using the tag pro. Prison, though, almost slips past. And Lamatron's tag pro runs out just at the wrong moment. He sets a nice block, actually, and I, I thought uh, Scrub Jay was going to be out. Couldn't tell if he hesitated or if he just ran into Lamatron. Looks like Ball Guy's out once again. Let's check the stats here real quick. Oh, I guess the team stats doesn't doesn't work um, with the uh, the no script option on. But just at a quick glance, it definitely looks like there's a big edge in the the hold slash prevent battle uh, for Ball Guys this half. That's what it's felt like. They have been firmly in control, and this might be a cap again for ball guys, but DSB gets out in time. Maybe a little too patient from ball guys, hard to say. And now this is one of those situations that almost always ends in a cap for one of the teams, because it's kind of a question of whose tag pro runs out first, and it's ball guys, but OD God is able to slip past o the OD as uh, two ball guys players were around to block for him. Unfortunate from Graham. Spiking himself there. But, no harm, no foul. Prism trying to get around two nuts. Both teams with anti. And ooh. Bit of a self-inflicted injury there. Tupi trying to use the team tiles to track down Joe. But Joe just has the angle. Good comms there as Lomtron was in position, but he couldn't make the play. But then he does make the play. He's probably going to get sniped here by crossover. He does. Rolling bomb for Scrub J. Rolling bomb for Prism. Unlucky your dark side to finally get that pup sweep oh no and they wind up capping <laughs> two nuts i think it was capture the flag off the rb defusal oh man when you pup sweep but your pups end up helping the other team cap scrub j might just kiss joe here he does Lamatron should be out oh, okay Passed a couple. He's going to have to push it. They're down by four, and he takes a pretty good route, but the timing just isn't quite right as Joe is able to get out and prevent the cap. Ooh, nice bomb snipe from 2P. And Scrub Jail, let's see if he can maneuver past here. Does a good job to stay alive. Crossover, though, once again, playing the choke points like a veteran. And he gets the reset with the help of his good buddy, Two Nuts. Scrub J picks up a rolling bomb, but a tag pro for ball guys. 2P probably should just spike there. Spike 2P? Nope. And now he kisses, but the RB has been defused. A couple flaccids, but crossover should be there in time with the tag pro. And he just grabs. A little risky, but can't disagree with success. Be looking for the kiss here. Yeah, both teams should be reset. Oh, but Graham whiffs the snipe. Uh, 2P slowed down just a little in anticipation of the snipe, and it was enough to uh, cost him his life. Crossover slips past Prism, but Prism stays ahead. In time for Scrub to spawn. Get the reset. DSP running out of time. They're down by four caps. With less than two minutes to go, penultimate round of pups spawning. Lamatron opts for the grab instead, and he's actually out. And he, oh, he, sl he slows down. I thought he might have the tag pro, but he tried to stay alive. And now Ball Guy should be able to seal this one with a tag pro base. Good grab by Prism, though. But he gets cornered. 
lives the lives uh, long enough to save the cap. But right now, DSB can't just be saving caps; they gotta be in the business of obtaining them for themselves, or else they will be in for their first loss of the season. And oh, Scrub J just misreading the the situation and winds up meeting the spike. Last round of pups. DSB once again grabbing when pups are coming up. And it might cost them at least one pup. Nobody's going for pups right now. I guess they're a little late. But Ball Guy's going to get both pups for free. DSB not even contesting them when that was really their last hope, if there was any left. This will be another cap for Ball Guys who have gone on an incredible 9-1 to run after going down 0-3 at the beginning of the previous game. And you gotta wonder what went wrong for Darkseid. I think it was a combination of a lot of things, just generally outplayed. Especially this half, it seems like Ball Guys have done a better job of keeping the flag in base. I think they've gotten more pups, especially this half. And DSP has uh, made some inopportune grabs at a few points that just resulted in free caps for the ball guys. But credit to the ball guys. They played really well this half and really the second half of the first half. 11 to 7 on pups. A couple caps each for Graham and Crossover. And four, or sorry, three out of four members of. The ball guys in double digits for returns. So a very fluid, well-rounded team effort, which I guess is not unusual for Jardim. I'm going to take a quick look at the EU because I'm curious about the pup disparity for both halves, really. Yeah, ball guys, 6 out of 11 pups were tag pros for them at half, 2 out of 7 for DSB, which is about how it felt during the game. They definitely still outplayed dark side, but there were lots of tag pros. But again, DSB didn't really do, them, do themselves any favors by kind of just missing out on pups a few times and grabbing when they were coming up. That is something that they will have to correct if they want to win game two. Three, two, one. Nine to four was your final score of game one. Dark side will look to rectify their mistakes on Titanic. Ooh, two P saves a cap with an awesome juke. But it might not be enough. Oh, he still stays alive. Very nice survival from Tupi. A risky grab from Llama, but not a terrible one. And the boost spawns, enabling him to get out. Comes back into base and goes for the cap, but the return was nowhere close. It'll be a free reset for ball guys who should be capping here. And they are. Tupi couldn't quite get back in time. And... Llama just pushed that one a little too hard into base. The blocks were good. And a pretty clean cap from Ball Guys. Crossover. Putting Llamatron on skates. Prism also not there in time. Scrub is going to have to do the OD himself, and he does. And I didn't see what happened to the third pup, but the two potentially relevant pups. A sweep for. Ball guys, Scrub J, oh, he blocks Prism. He thought Prism was going to go around to the team boost at top. And a brutal miscue. <laughs> and Graham just sits in the corner, lets the chaser fly by him. Darkseid looking for a reset here. Oh, brutal grab there. Just gives Ball guys a free cap. Now another bad grab, this one from Scrub J. 
but fortunately for Darkseid, they're able to get the return on the other end. Scrub Jay just biding his time, trying to set up the handoff. Which he does. Crossover though. Oh, excuse me. Crossover's out on the other end. Lamatron should get him with that juke juice, and he does. Nice little bomb there from Joe. Sending Tupi into the other bomb, but Tupi still passed. Uh, he maybe could have pushed it in there. But he's going to wait for the Tag Pro. And Oh, a great boost by Two Nuts to neutralize the Tag Pro lead. At least for the time being. It's about to run out. Lamatron, oh, I guess one of the pups is super late. Because when I looked earlier, there I could only see two pups, but I guess... Um, Oh, and a great cap from Prism, the wraparound boost to beat the OD. That's a very nice play. Swinging the momentum back in DSP's favor. See, so yeah, I'll have to keep my eye on those pups. Nice move by 2P to get out. Doesn't even need the block. And almost slips by. Crossover those past three. Scrub Jay's going to have to make a nice bomb play. Did about as well as he could have there, I think. And... Oh, just two questionable flaccids, but now now Two Nuts is the one blocking his own flag carrier. Prism gets a tag pro. OD God, the Juke Juice, before he gets killed by Prism. I guess all three of the pups are on time, I'm just crazy. I guess one of them got diffused that earlier round, and that's why I didn't see it. Anyway, crossover, pass three once again. Ooh, I thought he could have just gone up and around. But he kind of took the conservative route. Script is going to be past a couple, but again, the anti just not quite successful for DSB. And they are having a lot of trouble keeping the flag in base right now. Crossover and Joe, definitely one of the smartest, jukiest offenses in NLTP right now. So it's hard to blame Darkseid too much. But now they're able to get reset. Prism with a nice boost past a couple as pups are coming up. 2P gets the mid-pup, but it is just a rolling bomb. Lamatron is going to have tag anti, and this should be a cap if Lamatron can hit this boost, and he does. Very nice long-range snipe from Lamatron in the clutch to bring this game within one cap rooney Prism, another nice snipe. Earns himself a reset. A risky grab from Joe, but things are under control for the ball guys on the other end. And a rare few moments of tranquility for both these teams. Crossover using that bomb in kind of an unusual way to almost get out. Can Prism hit this boost? He can. Well done from DSB there. 2P grabbing when pups are coming up. And Darkseid will lose 2 out of 3 as a result. Tag Pro and a Rolling Bomb to Ball Guys. But Lamatron able to use the Rolling Bomb to get out. But Prism's going to have to make an impossible... So oh, maybe it was possible actually. I was going to say an impossible sack on that Tag Pro. But the other member of the OD kind of went too far ahead. And there was maybe an opening. Oh, now two flaccids and crossovers just going to walk it in. DSP continuing to have problems with just being really grabby at the wrong moments. I think that was largely the story of why it started to go wrong for them on Jardim. Tupi almost passed, but not quite. of a rare spike in on the the bottom middle spike there from uh, some member of the ball guys okay dark side not grabbing during power-ups this time prism gets a rolling bomb and a juke juice for scrub jay juke juice for crossover prism gets to the boost he's past two crossover gets there in time though that juke juice too op but scrub jay has one of his own oh crazy snipe from crossover objectively i don't know if that was the best play because you can just kind of like park your juke juice on uh, on OD and basically have no no risk. But he hit the dank bomb snipe. You got to respect it. That's a guy who's confident in his mechanics. Oh, the boost spawns just in time for two nuts. 
and that'll be a reset for the ball guys. Shout out to all four of you viewing this game. Thanks for joining me on this beautiful journey through the meadow that is NLTP. I don't know. I don't really know where that metaphor was going. Joe kind of messes up the boost there and Prism bomb snipes him. We've got a juke juice on D for DSP. Scrub J putting on the moves. Staying alive and he's passed. Very nice work there to get out past a couple. And he's at the team boost. But good positioning. And Ball Guys had the bomb as well. There's a return. Kind of a risky grab from two nuts. And Scrub J makes a nice boost off the corner and he caps it. That's a very classy cap from Scrub J. Great jukes to get out and then also to convert the cap at the end. Well done by our boy. And we have ourselves a one cap game. It feels like Ball Guys have really been in control almost this whole game. And Noah Flacid will give Scrub J a chance here. But he's just going to back off and get the mid pup. Fair decision. And now Toopy's going to have a rolling read, so this should pay off for Dark. So they just got to keep the flag in base long enough for Toopy to get there intact. And he uh, kind of messes up the boost, but it's not going to matter. And caps with the rolling bomb intact. Lamatron is still going to be out. Tie game here. After it felt like ball guys were in control for almost the whole game. Darkseid has come storming back. Oh, and a flaccid at the wrong moment. And Lamatron brings in the cap. Scrub J, I think, maybe baited the return there. And Darkseid has the lead. Ooh, a couple risky grabs after a good OD play. Another mildly risky grab. That's one of those grabs that's just like so low percentage that even if the other team isn't out on the other end, the other team with a 2v2 in base on the other end has better odds of you getting out with a 1v2. So it just doesn't make sense to grab. We've seen a lot of that from Dark Side. Pup sweep for Dark Side of the ball. One of each pup. Scrub J says, I don't need this rolling bomb. I'm just going to grab. Reasonable decision, but good uh, good defense sitting on the boost by uh, Ball Guys. And Lamatron could cap if he gets out here. A good bomb. He'll be past three. Oh, but he just, bomb or just uh, boosts into the wall. 20 seconds left. Lamatron, a very nice bomb. Oh, and he caps it. Just sneaks around the OD, uses Prism as a backboard. That's a beautiful play. Darkseid is pouring it on. Three, two, Tupi trying to cap as time expires. Two nuts catches up, though, with the team tiles. And a dominant performance from the DSB defense, which I didn't expect I would be saying after like the first half of this half, because it seemed like they were letting them out a lot, but they clocked in at a relatively respectable amount of prevent. Both had double digit returns and both with two caps and at least four pups and a minute of old. That is a well-rounded team right there. Seemed like one of the things that changed for Darkseid is they started getting a lot more pups about halfway into that half. And we're able to generate opportunities. Oh yeah, dark side. When the dust settled, one pups nineteen to eight that half. Not a lot of tag pros for either team though. Two out of eight for ball guys. Four out of nineteen for dark side. So it's actually proportional 
but not uh, not a high number of tag pros. Shout out to Steez and Hyapa for the follows. Ty. Yeah, Tantra. Ta yeah, have to was uh, was bonkers. DSP was losing pups. Uh, Ball guys got a bunch of tag pros. DSP started grabbing a bunch, and it was it uh, it got ugly. And this one was looking ugly too for for Dark Side um, for the first few minutes. Ball guys three, jumped out to a two, I think a three zero lead, if I recall correctly, just like Dark Side did in the first uh, the first half of the first game. But just like in the last game, the team that was down early stormed back and grabbed the lead. Two cap lead for Dark Side of the Ball. Heading into game two, half two here on Titanic. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Shout out you. Crossover and 2P both out here in the early going. Lamatron coming back to Anti and 2P is going to cap off it. He took an excellent route to just barely avoid Graham and clip the flag tile. And Scrub J is going to cap this one too as the Anti couldn't keep it in for the ball guys. And DSB has opened up a four cap lead. Pup's coming up. Prism gets a juke juice. Tupi gets a juke juice. And Prism says, fuck you, I'm getting two juke juices because this is XLTP. And I don't care. And he's going to be past a couple if he can get around Graham, which he does not. Good job by Graham, just staying put. Tupi not quite able to get the block, but Scrub J makes a ridiculous move, dodging both the chaser and the spike, and he might be able to cap this. Not quite, though. But he'll stay alive. Crossover is out, though. Tupi. Oh, he bombs straight into the spawning crossover, and now a chance for ball guys. Lamatron is there, as is Prism, just in time, but ooh, almost a cap for ball guys once again. Ooh, crossover whiffs the snipe, though. Joe with the return. Llama bump grabs, and he is out. Might be a pup sweep for ball guys here, although Tupi's able to steal the juke juice. A juke juice also for Graham. And we are back to a double reset, I say, as 2P gets past 3. Crossover is going to have to dank this, and he positions himself very well right in front of the blockers. Uh, Espel, my understanding is that Graham and Graham Parsons are the same person in GP. He has a lot of different forms of the same name. Lamatron, a little return there. Scrub J calling himself dumb in the chat, but I didn't quite see what happened. He didn't flash it though, so he must have just missed a boost, I, I guess. Pup's coming up, Scrub J positioning for mid, which looks like they're going to give him for free. Mid and right are chained, although he wasn't on the mid pup, so. Or at least I thought they were, maybe they're not. No, Pr Prism definitely got both of those earlier, but they might have gotten unchained, I guess. So Scrub J with a tag pro. Both the other pups were rolling bombs, and a good play by the ball guys to stay reset there. And uh, flaccid there for Scrub J, who felt his tag pro about to run out and gave it his best shot. Oh, he missed a boost and then flaccid at rip. Two P bumps Graham, and he's got some space, but he's not ahead. Two nuts and Graham closing in crossover with the wise anti. Power up spawning very soon. Crossover able to, oh, I thought he was out. But crossover disagreed. Joe now past three. Let's see if he tries to push it in. He does, but 
Folks are going for pups, so there's no reset happening now. Prism using the juice to get a tag. <laughs> Toopy just boosting straight into the tag pro for no reason. He's going to want that one back. Especially because DSP has a tag pro of their own on the other end. And uh, a reasonable kiss for Darkseid there. Up four caps. Sensible enough just to get the double reset, I think. Two flaccids from Darkseid. Now they got to be careful. Why do I yawn so much when I commentate? I think I just forget to breathe. Hate to see that. Game two, half two, four cap lead for our friends from dark side of the ball who went down early and came back to take the lead in the first half after relinquishing a three cap lead in the first game and ultimately losing nine to four. Nice little route from crossover. The Lamatron able to get the kiss and Joe's juke juice will run out just before he's able to get the re. Ooh, crossover, trying to put the moves on Prism. But all he gets out of it is a couple extra seconds of hold. Crossover, trying to utilize that block from OD God, but Prism's there. 2P is passed, but the team tiles might be enough. 2 is trying to buy some time with the bomb. He does, oh, a great boost from 2P. Just scooting under that spike. The perfect route to the flag. And he says, I don't need to wait for that block. And DSB also able to catch up to the flag carrier before he could get to base and take advantage of those two tag pros. But now they're out past a couple. Oh, 2P bombs him into the spike. Unfortunate for ball guys. DSB still a little on the flaccid side. But as of late, their defense has been holding it down just enough. And there we go. Scrub Jay's out. Crossover out, though, too. So Scrub Jay's got to stay alive for a little bit, and he wisely backs off. DSP with the return. Let's see if he tries to cap this. No opportunity, really. Ooh, Prism almost soloed him. That would have been dank. DSP picking up a rolling bomb, which is diffused as Lamatron gets the return. Crossover also with the rolling bomb. This could be a cap. Ah, oh, Prism once again just pixels away from the return. That would have been a cap. Lamatron bombing out. Well, let's see if DSP tries to just park the bus here. No, Scrub is going to grab. Yeah, that's probably the wrong decision. Prism going for the solo. Oh. Joe a little hesitant to come into base there, but he probably didn't have it anyway. And DSB will be reset. Two minutes left in the match. Darkseid with a pretty commanding five cap lead. Penultimate pup round. Two P positioning for that right pup. He's going to get doubled though. Lamatron's going to try to bomb for the middle power-up, but he misses, and Joe will get a rolling bomb as a result. Ro uh, rolling bombs diffused for both Crossover and Joe. So a pup sweep, but not a lot of tag pros. Crossover complaining about Dallas, but I think that's just Crossover. So it's been perfectly smooth for me. Dark side defense getting the reset once again. Scrub Jay's past three, but Joe gets the solo. And 2P dying as well. This one winding down. Thanks for joining me. Absent an act of God, DSP will pull off the split after suffering its first loss of the season.
Ball Guys will pick up their second loss of the season. So both teams will still be comfortably near the top of the standings. Juke Juice is on the flag. Prism is able to get the return anyway. And Scrub J opts for the kiss. Graham is going to be out past a couple off the handoff, but it is too little too late for the ball guys, who Three, indeed will suffer a defeat two, here, but they will get one more cap. Their first cap of the half. And Darkseid, a convincing win on a map that they weren't too sure about based on the pregame chatter in their channel. Prism and Two Nuts leading the way with 20 and 19 returns respectively and almost four minutes of prevent each. Actually a pretty preventy half, especially compared to the last one, I think. And Ball Guys actually won pups this half but could not convert Seemed like tag pros were once again pretty scarce this half. I will check the EU and also update the scoreboard. Final score for this game, 9-5 to five dark side. They finished with a minus one cap diff on the week. And yeah, indeed, just three tag pros for each team that half. So both halves on Titanic... We saw a number of tag pros for both teams that was lower than would be expected statistically. Final aggregate score, Ball Guys 14, Dark Side 13. That's a split. And both teams will go home feeling just okay about their week. GG's, thanks for tuning in. And... Until next time, sayonara.